there. I'm going to look at mitosis for you in the next few minutes. So viruses require a host cell to divide. And cells that have the ability to divide by themselves have a cell cycle. So I'm going to talk to you about the eukaryotic cell cycle first. So cells on the path to cell division proceed through a series of precisely timed and carefully regulated stages of growth, DNA replication and division. And we call all of this the cell cycle. The cell cycle has two major phases, interphase and the mitotic phase. During interphase, the cell grows and DNA is replicated. And during the mitotic phase, the replicated DNA and cytoplasmic contents are separated and the cell divides. There are two types of cell division in eukaryotes, mitosis and meiosis. Interphase is subdivided into three growth stages called G1, S and G2. In G1, the cell grows. In S, DNA synthesis happens. And in G2, the cell grows some more before the mitotic phase begins. Mitosis is the part of the cell cycle in which a eukaryotic cell divides to produce two daughter cells, each with identical copies of DNA produced by the parent cell during replication. Multicellular organisms go through mitosis to grow and repair damaged tissues. So now I'm going to talk through the stages of mitosis. So the first stage is interphase. And during interphase, the cell prepares to divide. DNA is replicated by semi-conservative replication to produce two copies of every chromosome. The organelles are also replicated and more ATP is produced to be used in cell division. During prophase, the nuclear envelope breaks down and the nucleolus disappears. Chromosomes are left floating in the cytoplasm. The chromosomes coil more tightly and become shorter and fatter. They can be then seen under a microscope. Small protein bundles called centrioles move to opposite poles of the cell and microtubules form the mitotic spindle between the centrioles. In metaphase, the chromosomes line up along the midline of the cell. In metaphase, the chromosomes are maximally condensed, so they're super condensed, and they're attached to the spindle by the centromere. During anaphase, the chromosomes break into two chromatids, and the sister chromatids separate at the centromere. The spindles then contract and pull the chromatids to each pole of the cell. In telophase, the chromatids reach the opposite poles and begin to decondense or unravel to become chromosomes again. The nuclear envelopes form around the chromosomes, so there are now two nuclei. The, chromos the cytoplasm then splits and two daughter cells are formed. And the daughter cells are identical to the original cell and to each other. And then the cell cycle starts again. So you can remember the stages with an acronym of I picked my apples today. So I is interphase, picked is prophase, my is metaphase, apples is anaphase, and today is telophase. So I picked my apples today. Repeat that after me. Nice. And that means interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, which are the stages of mitosis. So I'm going to just talk you through a few extra definitions that you might come across about mitosis. So cytokinesis is the division of the cytoplasm at the end of mitosis. And this brings about the separation into two daughter cells. Chromatids are the two thread-like strands into which a chromosome divides longitudinally during cell division, and each contains a double helix of DNA. The centriole is a pair of small cylindrical organelles located near the nucleus and involved in the development of the spindle fibres in cell division. The centromere is the central region of a chromosome to which the microtubules of the spindle attach. 
And that is everything you need to know about mitosis. So if you just remember the stages, you have interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. I picked my apples today. Yeah, so try and remember that. Thank you for listening.